How's it going, folks? I'm Des with Desfit, and these are the Jabra Elite 7 Active Earbuds, and these are a very compelling option for a pair of sport earbuds, especially if you're considering something like the latest generation Apple AirPods, the Beats Studio Buds, or even the Beats Fit Pro Earbuds, because these come with pretty much all the same features as those, but they also come with better sweat and water resistance, as well as a more rich sound profile. So these earbuds run about $180 at full price, which is about the same ballpark as the latest generation AirPods, as well as the Beats Studio Buds, and a bit less than the new Beats Fit Pro earbuds. So for the Beats Studio Buds, I think they're good earbuds. They have a comfortable fit, they're easy to use, they have some good active noise cancellation and transparency modes, and they sound decent but not necessarily mind-blowing. And pretty much the same thing goes for the Apple AirPods. Great ANC and transparency modes, great for calls, but those may not necessarily be the best for fitness because they don't have the silicon tips, and they're just not as secure as some other headphones on the market. And then with the Beats Fit Pro, great security with their fins, but I was a little bit let down when it comes to the sound quality as well as the sound signature. But with these Jabra Elite 7 Actives, they have some great ANC and transparency modes are going to be more secure than the Apple AirPods as well as the Beat Studio Buds. But what's great about these is that the sound profile is much, much richer out of these. Plus, you can customize the sound profile to your liking, which you can't do with those other three. So before we go in-depth into all the features and more details about the sound quality, let's take a look at what you get with these. So the case is a nice size and it's easily pocketable, but it's maybe just a smidge larger than the Beat Studio Buds or the AirPods. It uses USB-C charging on the outside, which is nice to see, and these also do have wireless charging, which isn't found on the Beat Studio buds. The buds themselves have a battery life of up to 8 hours, and the case provides a couple extra charges for a total of up to 30 hours of battery life. And there's also a battery saving sleep mode where you can set the earbuds to go to sleep after a certain amount of time. The buds themselves are incredibly lightweight at only 5.5 grams each. I mean, you can seriously barely even tell that they're there. Each earbud has what Jaber calls their Shake Grip Secure Fit technology. Putting that marketing lingo aside, these really do stay put where each earbud is coated with silicon, which has a super soft feel to it, while still providing a lot of grip to stay in your ears, even with a lot of sweat. They may not be quite as secure as earbuds with fins like the Jaber Vista 2s or the Beats Fit Pro earbuds, but unless you're doing some really jarring activities like mountain biking, I think these do a great job staying in your ears. Oh, and really quick, if you're finding the information in this video to be useful, do me a favor and just hit that like button down below. It's a small little thing that'll do that'll help this video and the channel quite a bit, and I appreciate it. One thing I do have to say though about these is that with their lightweight and that soft material, these are amazingly comfortable earbuds where I barely feel like these are in my ears. Each earbud has a physical button on the outside which you can use to play, pause, or skip tracks, switch between different noise cancellation modes, and even activating a voice assistant. The buttons have a good feel to them where they have a light touch but not too light to prevent accidental presses. And then you can also customize the controls in the Jaber Sound Plus app. One feature that was missing from the Beat Studio Buds, which is an important feature for me, is in-ear detection where it'll automatically pause the music when you remove an earbud from your ear, but thankfully these do have that feature. Additionally, you can use either of the earbuds independently if you'd like, so that's what I do when I'm cycling, so I'll wear one earbud and then leave the other ear completely open to hear the rest of my surroundings. These earbuds have an IP57 water and dust resistant rating, which means that they're protected from dust and they should also survive being submerged in three feet of water for up to 30 minutes. So I have more peace of mind with these for sports and fitness than I do with those other earbuds, which only have an IPX4 rating, which is basically just being resistant to splashes in water, but you shouldn't submerge those. With these, you shouldn't have to worry. And then when it comes to sound quality, this is where these differ quite a bit from the Apple and Beats earbuds, where they're just as crisp and clear as those, but they simply just have a lot more on the low end. So if you have one of those and we're just wanting a little bit more bass, these should not disappoint. Plus, they're actually a lot louder too. However, one feature that these do have, which I really wish Apple would implement, is a customizable equalizer where you can tailor the sound profile to your liking. So I tend to like their Energize preset as kind of a starting point, and then bring the highs down just a little bit. Now, for those of you looking for that super, super low-end bass, they don't necessarily deliver what you can get out of these Sony WF-1000XM4s, but the issue with those is that those are large earbuds, and they simply just don't fit some people. It's very much a trade-off between comfort and sound quality with those. But with these, these just strike a nice balance where these have plenty of bass, but they're also super comfortable. And then when it comes to call quality, Jabers have been known for some excellent call quality on their earbuds, and these stack up in that department pretty well. So they do a very good job in quiet environments for the person listening to you using the four microphones. So this is a test of the microphones on the Jabra Elite 7 Actives in a quiet room. But if you encounter wind noise, this is where they may not necessarily do as good. And this is a microphone test with Jabra Elite 7 Actives outside with a little bit of ambient noise and a little bit of wind. And then for active noise cancellation and transparency modes, you can actually customize the level of noise that you'd like to filter out with the ANC, and it definitely makes a difference with the settings. And with it cranked all the way up, they block out nearly everything. Not absolutely everything, but I'd say that these are on par with the Beats Studio Buds, and maybe not quite as good as the AirPods Pro or the Beats Fit Pro. And then when it comes to wind noise using ANC, these do a very good job. In fact, probably the best I've heard next to the Sony WF-1000 
and XM4s, which also do a very good job with wind noise with ANC. And then the transparency mode, or what they call hear through, where you can let ambient sounds into the earbuds, it's actually pretty astonishing, like really, really good, where it pipes in a lot of ambient sounds so you can really hear your surroundings. However, when it comes to wind noise using the transparency mode, well, let's just say that they do in fact pipe in a lot of sound from the outside. Unfortunately, that includes wind noise. So although they do handle wind noise very well with the ANC mode, I'd say the opposite is true with the transparency mode. And then you can obviously just go ahead and turn off ANC or transparency modes completely, which at that point is just gonna be passive noise cancellation, which is essentially how much sound the earbuds will block out using the physical seal in your ears. And that's actually very, very good, making sure of course that you have them properly fitted. And they do have three different size ear tips to choose from. These earbuds use Bluetooth 5.2 and the connection was solid with my iPhone, Samsung phone, as well as a few watches that I had them paired up with. So no worries there. And what's great is that they also have an update slated for early 2022, which will allow for multi-point pairing. So you can connect to two devices at the same time. So you can switch from your phone to another device seamlessly. Overall, I like these earbuds quite a bit because they strike a nice balance with a great list of features, great sound quality, good call quality, as well as the secure fit. So I think these are gonna be a very compelling option if you're considering Apple or Beats earbuds. If you're looking for the most secure fit, I'd still probably recommend something like the Beats Fit Pro or the Jaybird Vista 2s, but I've been using these for the last few weeks and haven't had any issues. Anyhow, if you liked the video, if you found the information in this video to be useful, make sure to hit that like button down below and also subscribe to the channel for plenty more sports tech videos that are coming soon. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you in the next video.